Hello, brothers and sisters. My name is Tara, and I come on here to share something with you. A concise but significant vision I had. It's the first time I have made a video. I will try to explain what I saw the best I can. But first, I want to thank all our subscribers for the love you always give us. You are unique to us, and our Heavenly Family loves you very much. The Lord authorized me to share this vision to encourage the children. It's a private thing, but it's been a long since He shared this vision with me while I prayed before I went to sleep. I don't remember the date, but it was at the end of 2017 or the beginning of 2018. First, I saw the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in a vision. I did not see their faces, but I knew who they were. The three had long tunics, and Jesus' mother was in the middle of the two. Her son was holding her by one shoulder, and the father was on the other side and was holding her left hand. It was a rapid vision, but I could feel how they were full of happiness, love, and peace, wildly smiling and kind. The father's voice is gentle, peaceful, and style. I listened to the voice of the groom telling the bride when you first get to heaven. You will hear us speaking in a language you cannot understand. After that, the Lord showed me a vision of the Holy Spirit who came looking for his daughter and made a movement with his hand and placed his spirit in a delicate silver container, a small round vessel. The color was close to the metal color, and she closed that container as if she screwed the lid on the top and put it in the pocket of her tunic and began to ascend with the movements of his legs pushing upwards like the movement that fishes make in the sea. When it starts to go up, I hear her beautiful voice telling her daughter, Don't be afraid, my love, we are taking you. She speedily did all of this. Her voice didn't feel relaxed or concerned, but more like she knew she had to do it precisely and fast. Then the vision changed. Looking from above, I found myself in a room where the bride's heavenly body was lying on a bed. The father took the recipient with the bride's spirit and opened it, grabbed the soul with his hands and start making like surgery, but not an earthly surgery. It isn't easy to explain. All family was close to the father, watching and paying close attention to what the father was doing. When he finished, Chikina opened her eyes. Oh, wow. She opened her eyes, and I saw that she had very long natural eyelashes, but I didn't know the color of her eyes. I only saw that she blinked two or three times quickly, and then she fully opened her eyes, and her relatives looked at her smiling and giggling. And she looks at them individually, saying with a lovely and sweet voice, Mommy, Daddy, is she? They all smiled at her, and the mother asked, Are you well? And she answered yes, and leaning over, she said I'm hungry. They all started laughing, and the mother straightened her arm, took the daughter's hand to help her sit down, and said, come on, let's eat something. They hugged her, and her husband opened the door, and the three left the room, talking to each other very happily. What I can share is that the bride is very young. All people are young in heaven, but she looks very young about 16 to 18 years old. She has a super soft voice. All her factions are minor. She has a round and precious face and long wavy hair. She is adorable. I fall in love with her personality and the way she talks, and she is easy to love with a pure heart. Well, brothers and sisters, that's all. I hope this is a blessing to those praying for the bride to be released from her captivity. Thank you for listening, and may the Lord bless you.